Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, one of the questions that I get is about routers and their security particularly um, their security with their firewall but we're going to talk about security in general on routers for a, a broader range of what security is actually because it's much more than just a firewall um, so if you are on the lookout for a new router First of all, um, security um, for the firewall, you don't really have to, um, you know, go crazy about anything on that for a simple reason is that router firewalls are in general of the, I, I call them uh, dumb firewalls. Uh, why? Because hardware firewalls are just, you know, you get in or not and that's it. Yes, of course, they are customizable from within. You can open ports, you can change things around. But because they are on hardware, what happens is that when you actually have uh, outside access, or if you have Windows trying to access, well, without being within the router, without having you know the passwords and going into the firmware, you can't change from the outside any ports so what happens is that the dumb side of the firewall is what actually makes it very secure. So you don't really have to, you know, go um, and find if one has better firewall than another, because uh, in general they're all good because of that nature of it making it more difficult. It's not like within Windows. Within Windows, if you get malware, uh, yes, the malware can now if it has admin access change the ports open the ports at once and get out but even if you would get malware that would do that if you've got a router well you've got a hardware uh, firewall so it would still not be able to get access to the web because the router itself would block that port so in fact having a hardware router a hardware firewall in a router is a much better option technically than a software firewall. That's why zone alarm is kind of useless. Zone alarm is useless because, first of all, Windows has a perfectly uh, good firewall that works well. But because it's a software firewall, if you would get malware, it would just go and tweak the zone alarm firewall and, you know, change the ports at once. So, you know, uh, zone alarm software like that are pretty much useless on on PCs. Um, so the hardware firewall is really a much better option. And, of course, you have to go into the menu in the firmware to change that. It doesn't change from the outside without that. So don't worry about the hardware fo a firewall and routers. They're all good. Um, that is fine. Security is at another level in routers today. And the level of security in routers today has much more to do with the um, age of the router. As a router will age, what's going to happen is that there are security flaws that can actually appear in the firmware. And because after a certain amount of time, manufacturers don't update the router firmware anymore, then there's the vulnerability that can happen. So remember, if you have a six, seven-year-old router, well, it could be more vulnerable to attacks and to actually being uh, modified from the outside by, um, you know, uh, hackers than a brand new firewall that the brand new router, sorry, that has the latest firmwares that updated all the time. So there's one thing: the aging routers do create a certain um, amount of hazard for security when there's no more updates. Um, the other option for security is, of course, it goes with the Wi-Fi. Make sure that you have always the latest Wi-Fi options, the la latest you know protocols, and you know there's AX and AC. And today we kind of go with Wi-Fi four, five, six. So like, you know, get the latest options, even if your hardware doesn't support it. Think about the future, getting something that is more advanced than what you have. It's not a bad idea because you might someday buy a new PC or a new device that does have the latest security options. And 
this is much more important in terms of security on a router to have the latest um, options in technology. The other thing that also makes ra routers a little unsecure is, unfortunately, having to turn on old options of connectivity because devices cannot use the latest security. So I would tend to say if a device needs you to actually turn on an old security feature, say WEP, which is totally unsecure, and to work, it's very simple. That means you should not buy that hardware because that hardware is going to make you unsecure because you have to turn on features on the router that are not secure. So uh, don't worry too much. Buy the latest uh, that money can buy, That uh, depending on the amount of money you have to spend. And on security, of course, um, a new model that has updates and will have more updates in the future will keep you much safer than an old model that does not have updates anymore or hasn't had updates for a long time. And don't worry about the hardware firewall. They're all good. They're all perfect, and the reason for that is, like I said, they're dumb firewalls, and that's the best kind. It just, you know, stops you, and that's it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.